<clears throat> now, the future. A time which we have no knowledge of. Many people have tried to predict what the future holds, and some of these predictions are quite cool, and some are just downright stupid and ridiculous. The automotive world has often contributed to these predictions. Here is a list of eight ridiculous classic concept cars. This list is not, not in order of ridiculousness. This list is a, in a... This list is in a random order, and the order has no meaning whatsoever. At number 8, we have the Plymouth Voyager 3. In 1989, Plymouth revealed the Voyager 3, a futuristic concept of a minivan, or as a people carrier, as us British call it. It was a small car with a large detachable trailer thingy, and which had the extra seats in it, and when docked together, it would become the people carrier, and the front bit, which was a small car, would be separate, and you could just drive around in that and detach the trailer when you needed the extra space. Tom Gale is the credited designer for the Voyager 3, and he also designed the Viper and the Plymouth Brawler. The Voyager 3 has also been called the worst concept car of all time. At number 7, we have the 1988 Pontiac Banshee, and the reason why I've put this on the list is, well, look at it. This is what happens when Hot Wheels cars become real. The Banshee has no mirrors and no door handles. Instead, doors open from a signal from a remote control. And the headlamps are concealed for a completely smooth body. It had a 4-litre aluminium V8 with 230 horsepower and a 5-speed manual. It had a heads-up display which showed the speed and fuel level to the driver so they could check them without looking down at the dashboard. The steering wheel was also full of buttons and it had a CD player. Inside there is a television screen which could display a digital image of the road and also the conditions of said road and the weather. Number 6, we have the Ford Nucleon. The Ford Nucleon was developed by Ford in 1957. The car did not have an internal combustion engine, but had a small nuclear reactor in the rear of the car. Ford assumed that this would be possible someday by reducing the size of the reactor, and they planned to use uranium fission to power a steam engine, similar to a nuclear submarine. Ford predicted the car could go 5,000 miles until it needed a new reactor, and also thought the owner could get a choice of what reactor they wanted. For example, they could get a more fuel-efficient one, or a performance reactor. The Ford Nucleon never got a working prototype, however, it is a rather cool example of what people in the 50s thought the future would be like. A mock-up of the Nucleon can be viewed at the Henry Ford Museum in Michigan. Anyway, Number 5, the Aston Martin Bulldog. In 1979, Aston Martin created the Bulldog, which was their vision of a futuristic supercar. It was designed by William Towns, the same man who designed the Lagonda, which was another futuristic car by Aston Martin. The Bulldog continues the Lagonda's theme of sharp lines and wedge shapes, and the Bulldog has gullwing doors, a digital interior, and a bonnet which goes down to reveal the five headlights. Engine-wise, it had a twin-turbo 5.3-litre V8 making 700 horsepower. Yes, 700 horsepower. In 1979, Aston claimed that it could go a top speed of 237 miles per hour, but it was only tested to 192. They planned to put the Bulldog into production, creating about 15 to 25 units. However, the plug was pulled in 1981. At number four, we have the Oldsmobile Golden Rocket. Revealed at the 1956 General Motors Motorama, the Golden Rocket was built to show off what General Motors could do. The body was made from fiberglass and was covered in fins. When you opened the door, the roof panel rose and the seat swivelled so you could get in easier. It had a folding, two-spoke steering wheel and a centre console with levers clearly inspired by an aeroplane cockpit. It was clearly inspired through name and design by aviation and spaceships. The car had a 275 horsepower rocket VA and an automatic transmission. GM normally used to destroy their cars after they finished with them, However, there is no proof that the car was destroyed, and there is a photo of the car from 1962. However, nobody actually knows where the car is now. 
Number three, we have the General Motors Firebird XP21 or the Firebird 1. The Firebirds, not related to the Pontiac, were a series of concept cars created and displayed by General Motors in the 50s and 60s. The reason why I've put Firebird 1 on this list rather than any of the others is because I personally think it is the most ridiculous looking. It honestly looks like the designers just took a rocket, slapped on some wheels and went, that'll do, let's go and have a smoke, because it is the 50s, after all. As early as the 1940s, General Motors were researching gas turbine engines, and in 1953, the Firebird 1 became the first gas turbine car to be tested in America. The turbine engine had two speeds and 370 horsepower. It had exterior drum brakes to allow for better cooling, and, wing and the wings had flaps to also aid braking, similar to a plane. General Motors created four Firebird, car Firebird cars, however none went into production. Firebird 1 and 2 are seen in a futuristic promotional film by General Motors. It shows what they thought the future of motoring it shows what they thought the future of motoring would be. It's pretty cool and it's a bit strange that that's what they thought the future would be like and I'll try if I remember to link it in the description or do a card thingy. Number 2. We have the Bertone or Lamborghini Genesis. The Genesis was a concept car made by Bertone in 1988. It was a five-door people carrier. Not the most exciting car in the world, but there we are. However, this is no ordinary people carrier. It had gullwing doors and a Lamborghini 455 brake horsepower 5.2 litre V12 engine and a three-speed torque flight automatic transmission. Unfortunately, the Genesis was only a concept, but imagine if that went into production. That would be a very cool but slightly stupid decision, as I have absolutely no idea who would buy that, and I don't know if there'd be a large market for a V12 Gullwing people carrier. And finally, at number one, we have the Oldsmobile Incas. Do you remember Oldsmobile? Ah, uh, they were the good old days. Apparently, I wasn't alive when they went under. Anyways, in 1986, Oldsmobile created the Incas, which was a metallic coupe with gullwing doors. Gullwing doors do really seem to be a common trend here. It had a 2.3 litre inline four engine with four turbochargers. It had no steering wheel. Instead, it had two joysticks and a dashboard, which was very cockpit-like. Car makers like to use plane, planes for their inspiration for concept cars, apparently. The Incus was far too expensive and ridiculous to be put on sale, so unfortunately it just remained a concept. So that is it for this video. They are eight ridiculous classic concept cars. And if you liked this video, please do go down below and leave a like and maybe subscribe. That would be very, very much appreciated. And a happy new year. I've not seen you since last year. Um, and anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.